Hey guys, it's Danny. And for today is a 101 ingredient, I am covering escarole. Now, escarole looks a lot like lettuce, but technically it is a chicory, along with ingredients like endive and radicchio. Now, while chicories are very closely related to lettuce, they tend to have hardier leaves and a little bit of a bite to them. So escarole, for instance, has a bit of a bitter edge. Now, as you can see, escarole has these slightly wavy, curly green leaves to it. It looks a little bit like a head of romaine. And the flavor, it's a little nutty with a balance of sweet and bitter. Now, the pale light green leaves towards the center are more mild and tender, and these darker leaves on the outside tend to be a little more chewy and a little bit more bitter. Now, word on the street is that if you were blindfolded, you would not be able to tell the difference between escarole and radicchio. I personally have never tried this yet, although I'm very curious to, but I wanna know if any of you guys have ever tried it. If you have, give me a thumbs up or and come on down to the comments and let me know what your results were. A one cup serving of escarole has just 17 calories. It's loaded with vitamins A, C, and K, plus it's rich in fiber, minerals, and antioxidants. And it's even said to be more nutritious than spinach. But let's be honest, that's just like splitting hairs because they're both dark leafy greens. And at the end of the day, a dark leafy green is a dark leafy green. And any way we can get them into our diet is always a good thing. Now, when you are shopping for your escarole, you're gonna notice that they range in sizes. Sometimes a head of escarole is gonna look like a big softball. Other times it's gonna look like my escarole, which looks like a head of romaine lettuce. Either way, it's usually gonna be tied up with either an elastic band or a little tie like mine has here. Just make sure that the leaves are nice and vibrant in color and the less bruising and discoloration, the better. Once you get your escarole home, you can leave it right in the plastic bag that you get from the grocery store. Make sure to push out as much air as you can, twist the top, and then pop it right in your veggie drawer in the fridge. This way it will last you a good week, sometimes even longer. Then when you're ready to work with your escarole, all you need to do is trim off the end and then give it a really good wash. Now, escarole is notorious for being extremely dirty. It has a lot of soil and grit in between the leaves, so you want to give it a good wash. So what I like to do is put it into a big sink of cold water and then swish it around a bit. Then I'll rinse it out and do that again until my leaves are clean. You could certainly also just run your faucet and then rinse off the leaves leaf by leaf until they're nice and clean. Just do whichever one works for you, but don't skip washing your escarole. From here, I just give my escarole a rough chop and it's ready to go. Now, if I am cooking with it, I won't bother drying it off, but if I'm gonna use it in a salad, then I will run it through my salad spinner because you know that whole thing about oil and water, they don't like each other. And the dressing will never stick to the leaves if you don't dry your leaves off. Which brings me to my next point. Escarole can be in both raw or cooked. And when it's cooked, it likes to be grilled, braised, and my personal favorite, sauteed. Now, because it's got that strong, slightly bitter flavor, it pairs well with lots of different ingredients, including onions, garlic, lemon, vinegar, strong cheeses, uh, olive oil, nuts, dried fruit, fresh fruit, lots of different options when you're working with escarole. So I'm gonna share with you guys one of my very favorite ways to enjoy escarole is in this super simple, insanely delicious, easy to make salad. Combine one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, a tablespoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of honey, a clove of crushed garlic, and three tablespoons of diced red onion. Whisk that all together, and then toss that with four cups of cleaned and cut escarole. Sprinkle two tablespoons of chopped toasted pecans and some chopped dried apricots on top, and enjoy. Mmm, that is delicious. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Hey guys, it's Danny, and today from the top. Hey guys, it's Danny, and from the top. Hey guys, it's Danny. What the? I gotta not think. Boom, one, two. Cheers.